North America is getting soft, Patron, and the rest of the world is getting tough. Very, very tough. We're entering savage new times, and we're going to have to be pure and direct and strong if we're going to survive them. They're rotting us away from the inside. We intend to stop that rot. Long live the new flesh. In my opinion, what you need in order to make a great horror film is to exploit a fear that everyone has, but to not make it too obvious for the viewer. Some of the greatest horror films have done this. Alien exploited the fear of rape and unwanted pregnancy. The Shining used the fear of child abuse, and Psycho used the fear of incest. Whether you're aware of it or not, the source of several popular ghost stories and legends can be traced to fears from Christianity. Frankenstein was about man playing God and resurrecting the dead against God's will. Dracula exploited the fears of sexuality and selling one's soul for immortality. And the Wolfman was based on the fear of black magic. I bring all this up to show you that the fear you get from a story isn't just from the blood and guts. The fear comes from taboos that have been ingrained into you either from your family, religion, or traditions. So, what does all this have to do with Videodrome? Well, enter Videodrome's director, David Cronenberg. In almost every Cronenberg film, the fear of losing control of one's body is the main source of terror for the audience. Even if the audience only remembers the blood and gore. Cronenberg has explored this fear in the supernatural and realistic movies that he's made. Whether they be mind control and scanners, physical transformation in the fly, split personalities in a history of violence, and human trafficking in Eastern Promises. In Videodrome, Cronenberg uses this fear of losing control of your body in the most abstract way in his career. Cronenberg took the theories of Canadian media professor Marshall McLuhan and used them to show how television can alter one's perception of reality. McLuhan believed that when an individual watches television, that person becomes so involved with the television program that they in effect become one with the TV. So Cronenberg asked the question, what would happen to viewers if someone wanted to use the TV medium for violent purposes? In the film, the character Brian Oblivion represents McLuhan. Oblivion thinks that the television will be the next step in the evolution of man and be a positive advancement for humanity. While Oblivion's former partners want to use his breakthroughs as a way to manipulate TV viewers and make them more embraceive of future violence. The film's main character Max Wren becomes a victim of Videodrome. After being exposed to its signal and violent imagery, he becomes an assassin for Videodrome's makers. I've got something I want to play for you. Oh my God! His character arc is actually very similar to Lawrence Harvey's in The Manchurian Candidate. From his programming, to being told to kill his friends. Raymond, no! Raymond, darling! His deprogramming. Links, they're beautifully conditioned links are smashed. They're smashed as of now because we say so. It's always painful to remove the cassette. 
change the program. But now that we have, you'll see that you've become something quite different from what you were. And his final move of killing his conspirators and then himself. <laughs> You can make the plot and ideas of Videodrome as complicated as you want, so I'll just try to condense the message of the film as best I can. The film's message is a warning on the power that television has on its viewers, and how dangerous that power can be if it was abused. Now neither myself, McLuhan, or the filmmakers of Videodrome believed that watching one TV show or movie would make a person violent. The film is showing that new technology, whether it be the printing press, pamphlets, TV, or the internet, alters our perception of the world and how we take in new information. The film is a warning that any technology created by man can be turned into a weapon if somebody wanted to. Thanks for watching.